Hello, everyone. Uh, I wanted to share my story in some details. I was kind of hesitating to, you know, make a video, but you know what? You know, I thought maybe I should do that because few people thought maybe you know this. Maybe I'm not a real person. Some people thought there was some Jewish conspiracy going on, and you know, all sorts of ideas out there. So I wanted to make a make a video to show that I I'm a real person. You know, I was born <clears throat> I was born into an Ismaili family. My dad is Ismaili. My mom was Sunni. And I was raised as an Ismaili. And um, around the age of maybe 18 or so in high school, I, I found Islam. Some of my friends invited me to read the Quran, and I started reading it. Um, I started praying, you know, what was called namaz or salah. And, um, and I got really excited. I found the Quran, and I got really excited about it. I really liked it. And I said, hey, this is God's message to me. I didn't look into it too critically. I felt like, you know, I looked into a little bit of other religions and stuff, and I felt... It's just instinctive, and I felt like this is something, you know, good, something I want to follow, uh, God's message. And I started praying five times a day, and, you know, eventually I took a deep dive into Islam. I, I started following it with all my heart and mind, you know, within, like, a um, few years after that, I studied university, and then I got married, and then, you know, um, what else? And then I started working. So when I was working, I tried my best to implement Islam. You know, I would pray even at the office. I would find a stairwell. I would go and pray wherever I could, you know, and I would get, if, if you had a prayer room, you know, I would invite other people to come pray with me. And even at university, you know, in the middle of exams, I would stop to pray. I would ask them, can I please get up? I need to say my prayers for Maghrib especially. And yeah, I was following it to the best of my ability, to be honest. I sincerely believed in Islam. Um, I used to give out some DVDs. I, I made some DVDs of my own with some Islamic videos. I used to go from uh, mosque to mosque, uh, videotaping lectures and at conferences and and I wanted to promote it because I felt truly in my heart this was a, the true religion. I wanted people to go to Jannah. I wanted Allah to be pleased with me. And, you know, I wanted to follow the Prophet. And so that's what I did. I created a website, lightuponlight.com. And, you know, eventually another one, worstbywordsquran.com, to, to promote Islam because I believed in it. And um, there's still a bunch of videos on there, if you go and see, of um, that I, I videotaped myself, some of the lectures. And some of the other ones I got permission from others to put online. So that's that's what I was doing, and um, I when I started working, you know, I would avoid jobs that that were involved with riba, you know, anything to do with the bank. Uh, I wouldn't work for any banks whatsoever. I wouldn't work in the media industry like television or music. Personally, I would avoid listening to. I wouldn't listen to music. I wouldn't let my kids listen to music. I even put my kids in Islamic school, um, you know, for as much as I could afford it, even though it was expensive here in Canada. But I mean, that's what you do, right? You're, if you're a Muslim and you truly believe in it in all your heart. As well, you know, I used to rent. I didn't have a mortgage because I believed in it. 